You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. Uh-oh, Ma and Pa Dozen just arrived home from a party. Gosh, Pa's kind of annoyed. Why'd you keep me waiting, Ma? I told you I wanted to go home, but you and that Mrs. Blodgett kept talking a mile a minute. Well, Pa, she never heard of Does. I was telling her it's a new kind of soap, and it's wonderful. Well, seems to me you could have just said Does does everything in your wash. But nope, you gotta take all night to go into how Does does rag rugs and towels and my overalls, even your rayon doodads, and me waiting to start home. But, Pa, you can't be rude to your hostess. She asked if Does it get the children's overalls clean. Mm. So naturally I said, sure, easy, no hard scrubbing. Why, you don't even need a bar soap anymore, I said, because does gets tough dirt out all by itself. Me waiting and waiting. Land sakes, Pa, it only took a minute to tell Mrs. Blodgett how snowy white does it get her towels. No soap gets them white erices. Then I look around for you and you're gone. Mm, just out in the kitchen with Mr. Blodgett to wait. Well, I couldn't leave without telling her does is safer for the nice colors she washes, like her pretty rayon slips and dresses. Was she surprised to hear does helps color stay bright longer? Yet it can't be beat for getting out tough dirt. Mm. Then, Pa does him, I discover you playing pinochle with Mr. Blodgett. Well, Then uh, I had to wait a half hour for you. Well, I'm not waiting for anybody to say, ladies, compared to other leading granulated wash day soaps, does gives longer life to colors, plus unsurpassed whiteness and real cleaning power for getting the dirtiest clothes clean. Try does, D-U-Z. It does everything in your wash. And now the Goldbergs. Molly and Jake are dancing with joy because their daughter-in-law is going to have a baby. Sammy is overseas somewhere, still unheard from, and so Grace has become the cherished treasure of the two potential grandparents. But if Molly and Jake are blinded by sentiment, their daughter Rosie isn't. She knows that Grace is a liar, a cheat, and a fraud in many things. And Rosie knows that Grace has some secret relationship with a neighbor, George. Now, Rosie was all for exposing Grace until the baby question appeared. Now, Rosie knows that the exposure is impossible. Other steps have to be taken. And Rosie is going to take them. Listen. Jake, dear, you're going up to see darling Grace? Yes, dear. All right. Uh, Jake, darling, is seated. Grace has a little bell by her bed, so if you want something or anything, she can ring the bell. I will, Mother, dear. I oh, will. Oh, my dearest one. Oh, my darlingest one. I love you, dear David. David, dear. Yes? Uh, help me, sweetheart. Help me roll my yes. wool, yeah, dear. The wool? Yeah. What, what you making? <laughs> what am I making? A sweater? Uh-huh. So who? Not for me. <laughs> for me? <laughs> no. <laughs> One and a half guesses I'll give you. Hey, Molly, Molly. Will you be a grandma? Mm. <laughs> oh, David, it's too long to wait. Too long to wait. Hold your hands yeah. this way. Like this? Uh, yeah. Excuse uh, me, David, your hands is clean. Sure, they're uh, clean. Sure. Because the wool is so white. <laughs> Why don't you make it blue? Blue. But because how do I know he'll be a boy? <laughs> so, so why didn't you make it pink? So how do I know she'll be a girl? <laughs> White is new to gender. W what is new to gender? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Oh. <laughs> Telephone. Take it, David. Yes, darling. Don't say anything no, about the baby. of course not. Hello? Uh, Uncle David? Yeah? Hi, Hello. Yes? Who is it? It's uh, Rosie. Uh, Uncle David, is Mama there? Yes. Well, is she standing right there? Y yes. Well, Uncle David, just listen and don't say anything. Uh, no. Uh, Uncle David, I miss George. Is he there? Uh, no. Well, when he gets there, tell him to wait for me. I have to talk to him. I, I want him to hear a few things from me. Yes. He'll keep away from Grace or I'll know the reason why. Uh, Uncle yes. David, just tell him to wait for me. Yes, I will. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Mm, but it only wants so lengthy. If you need something in the village. Oh. Rosalie's excited because Grace is gonna... Huh? <laughs> sure, sure, she's excited. Why not? Uh, David, I know you and Rosalie are 
very uh, confidential. Did uh, Rosalind say anything about uh, her policy money? Uh, no, but uh, my check will be here any minute. I sent to the bank for another check. Thank you, David. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll be very glad to when it comes, because I know Grace will feel better when she'll have the money to give to her sister, and that trouble will be off her mind. I want her to be very tranquil. She's got to be very tranquil in her condition, David. Sure. Very tranquil. Hold your hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding. Yes, please. I'm holding. And, uh, David, yeah, every week I'll give you back something. <laughs> Why should you worry? Why? I'm not worrying, but... Uh, each penny will have to be paid back, <laughs> All right, you, you'll give me a penny a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, a penny and a penny makes two pennies. Hold, oh, David, darling, the yes. wool shouldn't tangle. It wouldn't tangle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How long must I hold? Uh? One a minute, mm -hmm. in a second, just a second, dear. Just hold straight, darling, straight. I am holding straight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you think it's not like yesterday I was making a sweater for Sammy? With only 40 stitches. <laughs> 40 stitches? Uh, how many stitches does the, the semi take now? Oh, many more. Many more. Oh, Molly, Molly, what Molly. Darling, what? <laughs> I think Grace is getting prettier every minute. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Hold the wool, David. Yes, Hold I am holding. Let me help, please. Who is going to be the grandfather? Me or David? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, take it. <laughs> take it. <laughs> George? Oh, I'm sorry I'm so late. It's all I right. I just stopped off to get your daughter-in-law a few magazines I know she likes. Uh, yeah? I but... mean, I I thought when people are in bed, they like to read. Oh, thanks, thanks George. George. Uh, here's her medicine. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, my wool, Jake, look what you did with oh, me. I'm boy. sorry. My grandson will have to forgive me. Uh, can I help, please? <laughs> uh, uh, you like uh, babies, too, George? I guess everybody likes babies. Oh, is, is that going to be for the baby? Oh, <laughs> and I thought I was the only one who was sentimental. Look at the tears in his eyes, Molly. Look. Oh, I'm a softy. I even cry when a calf is born. Oh, Grace is ringing. Oh, Grace the is bell. ringing. Uh, here are the magazines. Oh, I think the bell. I got the magazines. Yeah. I got them. The bell. Yes, Grace, here's something you want, Molly. Uh, sit, sit down, George. Oh, thanks. Did the doctor say she's all right? Yeah, she, she's all right. Is it true that some women? Die when. Uh, sometimes. Well, Dr. Cater told oh, me. Oh, you spoke to Dr. Cater? Oh, he happened to be in the drugstore, so I just naturally asked him. I, I'm interested in everything, I mean. And he was telling me that sometimes in an operation, it's a question of the mother of the child. Gosh, that's a terrible decision to have to make. Gee, I'd hate to it's have. It's not very often that such decisions have to be made, Judge. My solid doctor, my, my son, he says that uh, they're not often. Well, it may not be often, but, gee, this may be the time. I mean, when a man loves a woman and he has to choose between her and a child, well, I mean, imagine you're standing there and the woman you love is unconscious and the doctor comes out and says to the husband, what shall I save, the mother or the child that's being born? It depends. It depends on how much the husband loves the wife. After all, if Sammy was here, but he isn't, we don't know what Sammy thinks. We don't even know anything. Any man who loves a woman would only have one choice to make. A yeah, the wife. There's love and love. Who knows how Sammy loves? Oh, but suppose Sammy isn't here. I mean, who could make the choice? I ask you, who? No one. Uh, Grace says thank you for the magazines, and she wants to see you presently to say thank you herself <laughs> personally. And she wants to know, how do you know she likes movie magazines? Well, uh, <laughs> girls do, I guess. Tell me, how does she feel? Molly. Yeah, dear? Molly, I think uh, Grace should have the front room so she can look out on the apple blossoms, maybe. She should see the apple blossoms, but that room is David's room. Well, that's all right. I'll, I'll uh, change. I'll yeah. change. Why not? Why, right, why, why shouldn't I change? Well, can uh, I help? Uh, wait here, George, dear. Wait. We'll just change Grace around. We wanted to yeah. see the all apple right. blossoms. Everything is blooming. All and right. I'll wait, wait right, right here. here. <laughs> 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 uh, gee. Oh, hello, Rosie. Was something wrong? You are. 
What do you mean, me? Listen, George, I'm not a fool. I can see what's staring me in the eye. I don't get it, Rosie. You'll get it. I want you to stay away from here from now on. I don't want you to put your foot across that doorstep. Why, what did I do? I didn't do anything. Listen, George, I know that you and Grace know each other. Know each other? Yes, and don't look so silly. Your face shows it. You were talking to her that day when I picked up the phone, and you hung up on me. Huh? You both come from the same town, and you knew each other there. What? Well, I don't care about the past. I don't care about Grace lying about it, but she's my brother's wife, and she's having a baby. And you better get out of here and stay away, because stay away. I'm not going to keep this a secret if you don't. I don't know what you're up to, but whatever it is, it better stop. There are ways of investigating people. Gee, if, if you weren't such a That's kid... That's all right. Now, please go. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'll go. And remember what I said. All right, George. All right, there you go. You can come up. Evelyn? There's George. He left. Left? He said he wanted to see Grace, and Grace said he, she wanted to say thank you. He couldn't wait. Why? He had things to do. Oh. Well, Rosie said it hard and straight, and George left. But this is only the beginning, because there's Grace upstairs, and Rosie is only a young girl involving herself in something way over her head. You know, a listener told me the 15 minutes she spends with us each day are always worthwhile. She also mentioned she's taken quite a fancy to Pa Dozum. Well, he is quite a guy. You know, he said... Yep, uh, Ma's the real boss at our house. Uh, but even she admits Does is head man in the dishpan. Well, no wonder, Pa. Does does everything in the wash and has everything for dishes, too. This new kind of soap makes suds that stand up till the last dish is done. Cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to hands. Yes, does leaves hands feeling nice and smooth. You see, it's safer than any other leading granulated wash day soap. And notice how those does suds stand up. You don't have to keep adding soap. And does cuts tough grease in less than half a minute. Try does. It has everything for dishes. And friends, in wartime, don't waste soap. Soap contains vitally needed war materials. So don't wash a few dishes. Wait till you have a pan full. That helps every bit of does you use do more. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. Rosie makes a plea, but every plea needs a listener. And some listeners have their ears closed to everything but their own secret thoughts. This is Clayton Collier speaking for Procter & Gamble and saying, Do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash.